Gemini, the October month begins with highlighting the sector of your world that has to do with romance and hobbies and enjoying life. The new moon in Libra is in what's called your solar fifth house. And you're an air sign, Gemini over here, you're an air sign, and Libra's an air sign. And the first to the fifth house, the ninth house is an air sign too. And that's just, this energy is about expanding your heart, finding what you love. It's not necessarily about doing something that forwards your career, but it's about feeling happy and joyful in life. And with this new moon, it's very intense. It's opposite the planet Uranus, which is freedom. And there's a desire for some freedom and some change. So this is suggesting that this month you might find some change in something of, of the things that you love to do. Now, if you're single and you're wanting a relationship, there can be a lot of flirtatious energy that happens, especially with someone who is friendly, you know, a friend, but there's flirtation between that. And the lunar eclipse, which is this powerful full moon, happens on October 18th. And it's highlighting the energy of, that goes back to the new moon of what new starts do I want, want to have in doing things that I enjoy to do? And what will feel different? What will bring me a sense of freedom and difference and excitement? Get out of the boredom. Get out of the doldrums. So the lunar eclipse can bring you the answer, and it also can can bring you that answer of who's going to come along with you, especially because you have this long-term Uranian energy that's connected to the new moon that says there may be some switch or changes that comes into place with with friendships. And the what we have on the 21st is Mercury going retrograde. Now, this energy shifts things quite a bit. Yes, the Mercury retrograde is in Scorpio. And Scorpio is, that, the sign Scorpio to Gemini is in an angle that represents adjustment. But Mercury and Scorpio retrograde is really straightforward. It's a tough conversation. And you're ruled by Mercury. So it's suggesting that there could be some tough conversations that you have or that you may feel this urge to speak your truth, even if it's not necessarily the easiest thing for someone else to hear. Because Scorpio doesn't want to deal with any BS and wants to get, this is how I see it. This is what it is. You know, like it. You might like it. You might not like it. But I'm going to cut to the truth. As a Gemini, be very mindful of your intention. What's the intention of these words, this conversation for you? The sun goes into Scorpio on the 23rd. And this energy, so now we have the sun, the north nodes, Saturn, Mercury, and this ends Scorpio. And the day it goes into Scorpio, the moon is in Gemini. And so this is a little extra significant for you. And it's a precursor to the new moon in Scorpio that will happen in November. Well, actually, it will be a solar eclipse that will that's suggesting that there's going to be some changes in your routine. Like what changes can you make in your routine of life? So it starts out with the Libra energy in the new moon, putting things into your life that you that bring you happiness that make your heart sing that make you feel like a kid again that are joyful a new hobby a new love you know what it doesn't love it doesn't have to be romantic it can be but a new thing to love in your life and then by the end of the month we have the energy going well what do i need to what changes do i need to make in my routine of life so I can embrace and fulfill this new love that I have. And this routine of life is getting things done. Housework, making sure your diet is the way it needs to be so you have the energy to go out and do new stuff. So it's, you know, feeling good and getting things done, having a, the day-to-day the -day stuff 
in a routine manner that feels right for you so you can fulfill what that essence was before of being able to have that new love, new joy in your life. The month ends. Happy Halloween for those that celebrate Trick or, tr trick or Treat Day. And as a Gemini, the trickster, you might have some, some fun with it. That we have the following day, the November 1st, we have this Pluto-Uranus square, which we feel throughout the whole month of October. And that's a world transit energy that represents revolution and transformation. But for you personally, it goes back to that friendship area of life. What changes can you make in the people you connect with, like a groups or organization? Is there any group you want to connect with to go have that fun energy that the lunar eclipse brought up? The new hobby. Maybe there's, and through that can bring a transformation in your life. You might not see it in one day, but if you find something new that you really love to do, say it's Mike mountain biking, it, it can evolve into different types of vacations, different types of your health. It really can evolve into, in hindsight, wow, it really made a big shift in my life. So happy, happy October.